Hey everybody, it's Eric here with GMFlash.com. Today we're working on our Volkswagen here again. We did a previous uh, video about the auxiliary in. Um, if you you know know anything about these cars, a lot of them have the auxiliary uh, uh, port located in the um, uh, glove box. So what I did is because it was like the most annoying thing driving this car is having the cable coming out of the glove box. I don't know whose idea was to take the, the light out and put it put this in there. But I bought a kit, it wasn't for this vehicle. I couldn't really find much for this vehicle since it's a 2008 and they already had the auxiliary jack um, in the cars. I guess the older uh, previous generation, uh, they had the, where you gotta, I guess, tap into the um, uh, CD player or something like that. So they had a kit for that. Obviously it didn't plug into mine. Um, the connectors were the same. Uh, let's see if I can get you that there. So it's a connector, it looks just like that. Uh, it's real easy to take apart. The little center section slides out. So what I did is I took this apart. Here's what the center section looks like. Let's see, right there. So this goes inside that bigger connector. So what I did is I installed the auxiliary jack down here into the little center console cubby. It didn't fit exactly perfect. Um, so I don't know if it's a generational thing that, you know, maybe it's not the same as the previous generation, but whatever, it fit and it worked. So what I did is I ran the wires up here. So now uh, I took those out of the connector, ran the wires behind the radio. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, let me pull this out. There's this blue connector right here. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. There's this blue connector right here, which has got all the wires uh, that I need um, to put rewire my aux jack. So there's a yellow wire in here. Let's see if you can see that. There's a yellow wire, there's a gray wire, and a green wire. All three of those wires uh, go to the aux jack. So what I'm gonna do is take this connector apart, so slide this guy out, that little black guy out of there, deep pin those wires, and then re-pin them with the one for my kit, since they are the same, right there, re-pin them, and then that will move my auxiliary port down to the lower location. Now I couldn't find anything uh, good for color-wise, so I had to do this the hard way, I had to probe the wires and kind of mix match until I found what what worked. I'm sure there's an easier way to do it, but uh, I'm doing this in the rain on a Saturday night. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and reprobe this or repin this and then uh, hook it up and see what happens. I know one thing I did notice is I disconnected the uh, um, that blue plug and now it says auxiliary in. So I'm hoping it's just, uh, I haven't, Replugged in to see if that goes off. Obviously, the car is off and the key's off, so I'm just hoping that's a fluke since it's the things unplugged that it's freaking it out. But I am going to go ahead and repin that, and then I'll have the follow up video here in a second and show you what happened. Hey everybody, it's Eric here again with GM Flash. We just got done doing our aux relocation on this 08 Jetta that had it in the glove box over there. So, to follow up from our first video, these are the three wires that I had to change. Uh, to uh, in the back of this blue connector back here. Um, the wires that came out of the factory harness were a little bit nicer than that of the $10 eBay kit that I bought. Um, this is this factory's much heavier gauge wire, obviously. So one thing I would recommend if you do get the same eBay kit that I do, it looks like they're all made pretty cheaply, is you might wanna cut back some of the wire. You can kind of see where I fished it in right there. You might wanna cut back some of the, the shielding on the wire, give you a little more room. I was kind of already committed when I got there. The terminals I don't think are the same quality. Uh, these obviously, um, if you can look at them, have a little bit of a better uh, punch down release, which you can't really see in this picture or this video. They have a little bit uh, firmer punch down release where the other ones I had to kind of bend back up with uh, one of my probe tools here, if you can see that. I had to use that to kind of push the lock back up into place. But nonetheless, we did get it all in there. So let me push the radio back in here so you can see we are on aux. Got another phone hooked up here. It's playing, let's see, there we go. We're playing a little Pandora and we got sound. And let's see, paused it, play it, hooked up right there. So now it's a little more convenient for the uh, aux jack on like where VW puts it, right there in the glove box. 
Uh, this isn't a very hard uh, install, but I looked around on the internet and couldn't find really any information about anybody really moving them or if uh, somebody did, they wanted an aftermarket head unit or what have you. But this is super easy to do if you got a factory VW head unit. Uh, if somebody could come up with a wiring diagram, I'd definitely post it in the, uh, the comments. I couldn't find the color code wiring diagram. But uh, it's pretty simple. I'll give you more information on which wires went where. But I basically just had to pin it out and trace it back. And uh, that's pretty much all there was to it. Just pull out the old wire, put in your new uh, jumper pigtail after you depin it from the factory connector that they give you and uh you can move your uh aux jack to uh the center console there please like and subscribe